Right, so I just picked up lime. I had a, one of them split, so I just quickly put it in there. Um, I want to try and get this unloaded and slaked because uh, I'm offering my girlfriends and I need my van back. So we're going to get that and we're going to add it into this water here. And that is going to slake, it's going to chemically react, it's going to heat up the water and um, it's going to turn into lime putty which we're going to leave for a long time to mature now this stuff's incredibly caustic and not very nice so I'm going to be wrapping my face all in cloth I haven't got a respirator but um, cloth is going to be fine because I'm not going to be holding my breath and staying away from the clouds of dust preferably as well and uh, eye protection and we're going to get some of them bags in here and, and get some of it slaked right then, how do I look? That should be sufficient, I've got no gaps. I'm all buttoned up, in fact actually I can probably button that off as well. Maybe, no. I think that'll be good, I'm happy with it. Okay, let's uh, slake some lime. Do another bag. Listen for the sound, the water's getting hot now, so it literally boils the water. Before this stuff is mixed with the water, it's um, quite dangerous. You don't want to breathe it in because obviously that reaction that's happening in there is um, going to happen in your lungs. So you really want to prevent the dust from getting into your lungs. Uh, but once it's hit that water and reacted, it's uh, a much safer product. So we've only got to get, uh, you know, worry about um, breathing in the dust and getting in our eye from the point in which it touches the water that's all and then after that it's uh, relatively safe and I probably should have a, a full proper respirator but I don't have one they're quite expensive and I don't really need one t-shirts fine then it's not like tiny little dust particles they're not going to pass through through this that I have over my face it has a smell to it as well so and I know that I can't smell it so uh, I know that I'm not breathing it in and I'm also minimizing the time I spend in the dust so um, there's a slight breeze and I'm trying to stay out of it as much as I can the water's just starting to heat up start to get warm so it's taken uh, four bags I think one two three five bags and it's the water's now warm so get another couple of bags added
Okay, it's getting a bit hotter now. I don't want to um, let it get too hot. Sorry, I'm cut out of breath because I can't breathe that well <laughs> in, uh, in this mask. Um, yeah, we don't want to let it get too hot because I don't want to soften the plastic of the tank. But um, it's getting hot and it's definitely reacting well. Starting to get close to the pot now. I might look out some more water soon. I think we can get a, a few more bags in here yet. So try and set you up somewhere. We'll put another bag in, but you're probably going to get steamed up on the lens, but we'll try. Okay, here we go. It'll be exciting this one. bit spraying out all over the place. I'm glad I'm masked up. Okay, it's reacting. It's getting pretty hot in there. Um, I think it's probably time to add a bit more water. So I think that's what I shall do. Right, just uh, starting to pump some water out the stream. Coming from down there, just got a little pump should come out there we go all right let's get a bit more water in this cool it off a bit oh it's a bit muddy it'll be all right so yeah cool off a bit that's a quarter of a ton so far in there and it's getting pretty hot so add a bit of cold all right really miserable day today raining you can see the uh lime settled down i just put a bit more water in there because it's raining it's got a bit of a silt from the uh, from the stream so uh, but that won't matter it's not enough to change the color of the lime or anything like that so uh, I'm gonna carry on get some more bags in here and uh, get it filled up it will settle down a bit as it as it compacts so um, I think I just about fit it all in the tank all right let's get another bag in here We're getting pretty full. Uh, I wouldn't really be, it's a rough day today. It's chucking it down, it's muddy. Uh, I wouldn't normally do it today, but I just don't want to leave this in the a trailer. It'll get wet, so. We're getting full, probably fit about another five bags in there max at the minute, but it'll settle down a bit. Um, it's gonna be right full up though, that's for sure. Right, that's the stuff, look. Nice lime putty. It's only partially re reacted that, so. I just brought you over to give a bit of a demonstration. This isn't what you want really, I'm just doing it to demonstrate. You see this forming hot spots, you see that cracking there? You don't want that, you want it all to be uh, mixed with water as it reacts. You don't want it, because the middle of that is dry, you see? Okay, so I'm gonna get mixing anyway, I just wanted to show you. You basically just wanna keep it stirred up and mixed in, and you want water touching all of it so it reacts and you don't get 
these uh, hot spots in the middle, dry hot spots. You see there's one forming there. So yeah, I'm gonna get mixing. Okay, so I've let this settle down now. Um, that's about as much as I can fit in it. It's pretty well filled up. Might get another bag in there maybe, if it settles down a bit more. But here you go, you can see the lime under there. It forms like this, this crust, which is quite strange. You see all that? See that? You can see the whole thing kind of moving there. See that? So I'm gonna get a bit more water over this. <coughs> Excuse me. Get a bit more water over it. So it's got a bit more protection from from uh, carbon dioxide. But yeah, there's the, the putty. And this is gonna sit here now for probably around about six months and then it's going to be a useful iron plaster. I'll just get a little shovel and I'll show you. Okay, let's show you the stuff. So, get a little shovel here, little hand. See that? It's going to all compact and become solid like a like a lump of, I don't know, almost like thick sort of cream cheese sort of consistency. Um, it won't fall apart like that. It's very wet at the moment. But that's the stuff. So we mix that with sand different ratios depending on what we're doing we'll go through that when we come to use it but uh yeah that's the stuff lime putty to make traditional lime mortars and plasters and various other things that's considered probably the most traditional way of doing it you can buy lime putty in tubs and stuff um, that's matured but it's very expensive uh, doing it this way cuts down on the cost a lot um, there's other ways of making lime plaster you can do like hot mixes and stuff but this would be considered the best way, the most eco-friendly way, and uh, the cheapest way. Uh, all of this cost me £490 for the ton. Um, if I bought this in like 20, like lime putty in 20 kilo like buckets, I'd have a load of buckets, and it would cost, well, they're about 30 quid a bucket. So, as you can imagine, that's a lot more expensive. So yeah, it's very good. We're gonna be using this to plaster the earth bag workshop see that good stuff and we'll be uh, mixing it up in that big mixer okay so i uh, hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching